Hey Aquarius, my name is Crystal with Psychic MD and I want to thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you are a repeat offender, you know by now, I am so grateful to have you around. And if you are a newbie just stopping by to see what shenanigans there is going on here, then you are more than welcome as well, okay? Lighting us a little incense to kind of put us in the mood here. So Aquarius, it is that time already. Crazy, huh? January. So we're here to just see, and it's going to be a free flow reading, whatever spirit wants to bring to the attention. That's what we're doing. So I had no agenda just to see what spirit has to say for you. So without further ado, here we go. Spirit, what do we have going on for the month of January for Aquarius, please? We're going to start out with charms. Did I say charms? Charms. Show me now. We have a lot. Okay. Okay. Seems like this guy's a little popular now. This one also came out in Scorpio. All right. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, what I notice is um, this is a different cross that Scorpio got, by the way. And so this one is curved. Okay. And so I feel like this is about um, maybe you're feeling like even religion or your faith or things like that is taking a different curve and you're having to really kind of come to terms with it. I feel like it is kind of natural, almost like you don't see things the way you did before with a rigidity. I can't say the word that I'm seeing in my mind, but anyways, being so rigid. I want to get fancy and I can't, okay, Aquarius, let's just be real here. But I'm just going to say that... Um, there might be a slight changing, a slight molding, a slight bending of the rules that you have typically adhered to in the past as far as like your spirituality, what you believe, your belief system, things like that. This is your divine protection, okay? So you are protected. And I do feel like here, because it's talking about a dream and also a wish. So you guys have something in your heart quite a bit. Um, that you are wanting to bring about, wanting to manifest. Some of you guys could be doing some spell work or praying or a combination thereof or working diligently and setting aside your finances. Some of you guys I saw writing in a notebook trying to manifest as well. Now this guy right here always reminds me of like an eye and then the two flowers. And I feel like you're just seeing things like differently. Like you are um, even like your third eye could be opening and you are spiritually connecting more with the divine, with people around you and with spirit in a way that you never really have before. Okay. What else do we have going on for the month of January for my beautiful Aquarian friends? Please show me now. Shine bright like a candle. You'll make it through this. And so per maybe perhaps, I mean, we've got the Van Gogh vibes, of course, and we have the big Alice in Wonderland sad eyes, um, which is kind of typical of this artist. But anyways, it's Lucy Cavendish. Lucy Cavendish, artwork by Jasmine Griffith, if you're curious. So... I feel like there's been a lot that you are saying goodbye to, of course. Um, there's just a sense of loss of things of old that are gone that you can't like resurrect or make come back. You wish maybe perhaps things were the way they were before they were two years ago, um, before the world went utterly crazy. I heard the word bombastic. Is that even a word? I don't know, but maybe it's somebody out there that makes up words like I do. I love um, free flowing because you know who's limited by a dictionary <laughs> apparently not me sorry tangent okay so Aquarius I just feel like some of you guys could have lost loved ones and that could have really served to kind of like bend things in a way that there's no going back it's like wow I can't believe that so-and-so has moved on and if you've lost loved ones pets or anyone near and dear I'm so sorry 
Um, that is never an easy thing, but I feel like you're really into your emotions. Um, I'm gonna caution you to not wear so much blue if you are wearing blue or especially black. Uh, wearing those colors are really gonna put you in a vibration where you are. Uh, you could be really over sympathetic to other people as well as trying to deal with your own maybe grief or loss or idea, even if you're not like an active grief, is there such a thing? Um, but if you're not actively grieving someone, even being in a raw state where you you finish grieving or it's a tender topic right now, then you might want to just kind of shy away from blue right now. Um, the crystal I'm hearing for you, Celestine, might be a really helpful crystal for you to connect with. And that connects with like angels and spirit. Okay. And be sure that you are being your most authentic self. Now is not the time to pull back and um, adhere to what other people want of you. Now's the time to be your most authentic self. And I feel like that's just why a lot of things have burned away is for us to come more into our authenticity, okay? So manage to be glad, create your own happiness regardless of conditions. And this is really tough, um, especially if you are experiencing a lot of hardship that has been brought about by world events again um, for the past two years or so, right? And so this is just managing to be grateful and glad on the very, very small things. And I guess a small example I would give you is um, I did yoga and I did not die today. <laughs> so yeah, things like that. And I was just really grateful to be able to breathe um, and, and kind of get deeper into the yoga poses without like really killing myself or like popping my hip out of socket. I know it sounds like really lame, but small things like that being able to feel my breath, being able to even have options that I can do yoga if I want to. Um, I also meditated. So some of you guys might be into like a shamanic journeying and that has nothing to do with demonic. It's shamanic, like the shamans, okay? And uh, some of you guys might be really interested in that kind of a world where you're looking at your like indigenous roots or other people's indigenous roots and really vibing with them and feeling like wow that really resonates with me and I really want to learn more about it um so you could you know do like I did find some things on like the shamanic drumming on YouTube and I really um meditate super well with that so just an idea for you. What else do we have on the board for Aquarius, please? For the month of January 2022. Show me now. Nature, communication, flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. And so this is going to be really great for you because I do feel like there's a lot of communication right here. A lot of things that need to come out. Blue to me also, of course, is a throat chakra. It's speaking. Um, so maybe you have a lot of things to get out of off of your chest and I'm all for it. I mean, try, you know, the best to get it all out so that you're not stuck in a watery nature. We want to balance. Um, really, gardening right now could be of a help to you. Um Flower energies, maybe you're into those Bach uh, natural remedies where they're like essential oils or essential flower elixirs. I don't know what they're called, people, but you know what I'm talking about, right? B-A-C-H, um, Bach essential, they have everything. Anyway, so you might want to look that up and see if that resonates with you, putting a couple of drops in your water or whatever it is that you feel like you need some, some help and support with. For others of you, I feel like it is a time of releasing. I'm releasing old things, old pain, old habits, old ideas. And I'm going to say that the smoky course, actually, I didn't even put it out here specifically just for you, but I do feel like just for you so far, um, Aquarius, the smoky course might be warranted right about now. Okay. So you can look that up as well. But I feel like a nice little slab of smoky is going to help you kind of transmute those energies that come into your own a lot faster and a lot easier. And hey, if you're just hugging a rock or crystal and uh and trying to work on yourself worst case scenario get some breath work in and what's the worst thing that can happen right but it never hurts to try just my two cents here so what else do we have you could also be noticing um things blooming in your garden that should not be blooming technically like oh it's not the time for that and i can't believe that and uh, that could be like a nice surprise, but then it could leave you wondering, hmm, like tickle your brain, but you're not overthinking it, just keeps popping up. That's spirit trying to get your attention, okay? 
So justice. So you're looking at a balance, trying to balance things out in your own life. Let's move this here. Okay, with the eight. So the justice card being the number eight is uh, weighing head over heart issues, okay, as of right now. In this particular deck, head over heart could be something that you are weighing and you are really having a wish that you want fulfilled. And I feel like you've been working hard towards it. Or actually, a lot of you guys, I feel like you have no clue as to how to work hard towards it and how to manifest. There's tons of videos on manifesting. Um, but you could really set that intention. Oh my gosh, this just like jumped on my chest. So <laughs> I'm taking it for you, Aquarius. So maybe you're trying to manifest a lover, a significant other, okay? Somebody, I heard somebody who worships you. Well, who doesn't want that, right? Um... But I feel like this could be just you wanting to connect in a deeper way. Now, for others of you, I do feel like you are looking at um, a lover or a past lover. And this could be you having to make a decision between two people, someone else having to make a decision between two people. I don't feel like a lot of cheating vibes here. I don't feel like um, there's a lot of three-way uh, conflict or three-person party type thing. But for one or two of you, that might be the standard. Now, for others of you guys, you might have like a, an old lover on your mind and you wish to reunite, that kind of a thing. Or somebody who is really important and you have like daydreams about them, um, night dreams about them, woohoo, or whatever. But I feel like this person could have been really clean cut. They could really like to um, take a shower or a bath like two, three times a day, a little bit excessive, but they always smelled really good. They could have smelled like of soap or in like a light tinge of cologne, whatever the case may be. Um, your divine, you know, masculine. I feel like you're trying to call in your divine masculine. Now for you guys, same sex people, it, same message, right? But for you guys, who are um, opposite sex, it's just going to be, take the message as, as you will, if it fits, right? So, uh, yeah, but I feel like this could be somebody even that you're thinking about, perhaps that you're in a connection right now, married or, I don't know, spoken for, whatever you want to call it, and you are even thinking about, like, someone has ripped my heart out, okay? And this person still holds so much power in your life, even if... Um, whether they're present or not, I feel like there's someone on your mind that you wish to get back with, that you dream about. You could physically have dreams about them, but I feel like a lot of daydreamy vibes, a lot of like even when you're gardening or looking at flowers or things like that, or even looking at candles, and um, this person's name comes up, their vibe comes up, you smell their cologne. When you're going shopping, you see this brand of soap that was on the shelf that you used to use, whatever the case may be. So that could be that here too, okay? So what else do we need to know, please, for my Aquarian friends for the month of January? Please show me now. Ten of Hazards. Yeah, this is commitment. Commitment level. This is like um, maybe you're thinking of a spouse, somebody you're committed with, but you want things to go back to how they were like normal quote unquote. And uh, this has to do with your stability. And I just noticed this one out. So I feel like maybe some of you guys have lost someone. Okay, maybe recently, maybe not too recently, but even the desire to go back to um, what is normal or what was normal for you at that time or into a space where you just felt more complete, more secure. You felt like there was loyalty. You felt like there was love. There was like routine that made you feel supported and encouraged. Um, I want to propose to you like maybe just looking at things a little bit different because I feel like a little bit of a fantasy land and I'm all about the fantasy island. I get that. Um, that is actually kind of my love language. Don't tell nobody. But I'm going to say here that, um, you know, thinking about how things were, then we noticed the two um, zombies right here. You know, and these two, presumably mother, father, who knows, and then the kid and the proverbial dog, right? And so I'm just going to say that perhaps things were not quite as normal. It was like you went about a routine, but there was some stuff that was like, what? We're doing what? And that's just how it's done in this household. So um, I think getting out of this like fantasy level and being a little bit more realistic instead, we, we tend to romanticize the past. 
um, is going to be a lot more healthy for you, even if it does leave you still wanting that person or that life. Um, just being able to see things with uh, non-rose colored glasses and a little bit more of a realistic view, okay? For the others of you, you felt like you could have wanted a family with this person and they were the one that got away or you were the one that got away, okay? Whatever the case may be and they just have ripped out your heart, I feel. Um, and you would gladly allow that to happen again. Look at how he's just so into her um, and it's almost like saying, you know what? Go ahead and rip my heart out. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Now, I got the eight of hazards. I feel like you're willing to put work into this. Um, look at the reference. I didn't notice that. It's like a cologne bottle or something right here. But he's willing to get all like perfumed up for her and uh, perfume. That's cologne. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. But uh, just making sure that he smells good and he's aware that she just straight ripped his heart out, but he does not care. He's going to clean up for her, show up, and do. So there is effort. For those of you that uh, are wanting to bring in someone back from your life that maybe was the one that got away or whatever, you still think about them, that person's willing to put in work. I'm just saying, okay? For the rest of you that have had a loved one pass on and they're no longer able to come back, <clears throat> excuse me it's uh maybe lifting up illusions to be able to bring that level of love back into your life um i heard the love of a lifetime but also i feel like balancing that out with realizing that there was some rose colored glasses right there and so being able to balance that putting in some work and you can bring about a love of a lifetime once again um i don't feel like we just have to have one love and be you know that's it Anyways, that's just my philosophy. What do I know? <laughs> what do I know? So anyways, Aquarius, um, I hope that that uh, brings some things to light for you. I hope it was really helpful, if not helpful. At least I hope it was amusing for you. And please do like, uh, smash that like button, like, share, comment, subscribe. And with much love, I will hopefully see you next time. Namaste.